In this video, I'm going to talk about the Free Tibet Movement and the monk who set himself on fire. The Free Tibet Movement was modeled after a lot of occult movements having to do with the Dalis and the Lamas and the current Dalai Lama and the Tibetan prisoners and how China is using fear and intimidation. And this has been going on since I can remember. I remember being a kid and seeing bumper stickers and it's been going on before that. You know, it goes back to the 60s and before that. Now, if you look at, you know, even before that, the, the Shaolin monks had problems with the army of China and how they um, attacked the monastery and how they held them down so famously. Now, um, I'm going to start with uh, the Roman Empire. I'm going to start from um, Augustus. And I'm going to go, you know, re I'm read you um, some of the names from my notes that are important. So you got Augustus, then Tiberius, then Gaius, which is Caligula, Claudius, Nero, um, Ilius, Vindex, Clodius, Macer, Galba, Nifidius, Sabinus, Otho, Vitellius, Vespasian, Titus, Domitian, L. Antonius, Saturninius, Nerva, Trajan, Hadrian, Antoninus, Pius, Marcus Aurelius, Ovidius, Cassius, L. Versus, Com Commodus, Pertinax, Didius, Julianus, Septiminus, Severus, Pessinius, Niger, Clodius, Albinus, Antonius, and then Geta, then Marcinus, then Didamenius, and then Elagamulus. Then you got Silicus, you got Uranius, you got Gilius Maximus, then Verus. So these guys are named after planets. A lot. It's in their names. Like uh, you know, they stole the idea, the names, the the structures, the army formations, all from ancient Egypt. Service Alexander, Elsius, Salustius, Tarinius. Now we get to 235 to 238. You get Maximus, Thrax, Magnus, Cortinius, 238, Gordian one, Gordian two, Puppinius, Babinius. Gordian three, Sabinius, Philip the Arab, um, you can imagine why his name is that, Pacatinius, Iotapinius, Silbanacus, Sponsinius, Philip Ionardisius, Julius Priscus, Aulius Valens, Licinius, Herennius S, excuse me, Herennius Etruscus, Hostilian, Trebonius, Gallus, Volus, Annus, Uranius, Antonius, again, and so on. And it goes all the way to Inigus, Regulinius, Macronus, Senior, Macronius, Anur, Quitius, Piso, Valens, Vibalista, Musius, Amelius, Memor, Aurelius, Celsus, Saturninus, Claudius II, Censorinus, Quintilius, Aurelian, Domitinius, Urbanus, Septimius, Fromius, Philismus, Vabalus, and then you get the Gaelic empires and uh, emperors in 260. So look at how all these guys are stabbing each other in the back, all this political succession, all this turmoil, all these elections in the Senate, and the old Roman senators, and the countless... Um, so this is the era of the Gaelic emperors before Tacitus. You got Postumus, Lelinius, Marius, Victorinus, Trechicus the first and second. Then you get Faustin, us, Tacitus of course. Then Florinius, Probus, Bonosus, Proculus, Saturninus, Carusus, Nimrinus, Carnus, Dial, Diocletian, <clears throat> and then you go on to Demetrius and. Aurelius, Ar Achilles, and then Eugenius, the Maximus, Hercules, and on and on. So you get all these Arabs, and you got um, Greco-Roman dictators, and you got all kinds of, all the way to Constantinus, the first Chlorus, then Galerius, Maximus, Dias, Severus, Maxentinius, Domitius, Alexander, Lucinius, Valens, Mart. Constantinus, Constantine the first, Calocurus, Constantine the second, Constantinus the first, Constantinus the second, Magnetius, Nepotian. Hmm, I wonder if Nepotian practiced nepotism. <laughs> they all did. Now, Vetranio, Silvanius, Julian, Jovian, Valentinian, Firmus, Valens, Procopius, Marcellus, 
Gredian, Valentinian II, Theodosius the Great, First the Great, Magnus, Maximus, Flavius, Victor, Eugenicus, of course. Then you get the Western Empire, and then the, the Eastern Empire split, you know, and the Constantines guys went with the Western Empire, and then it goes on to Valentinian, Avidius, um, Majorianus, Avranius, Romanus, Glycerius, Julius Nepos, and so on. And then you get the Eastern Empire, Acradius, Theodosius, Marcian, Leo the First, Leo the Second, Zeno, and then you go all the way on, you get Tiberius in 578, and it goes on and on, Constantine the Third, 641. So, and of course you get the mass, you get the, first you get the Ezeranian dynasty, Ezeranian dynasty, excuse me, and then you get the Macedonian dynasty. Okay, and it goes on and on and on. And I'm running out of time, so I'm just going to go through, skip all the way to um, 1449, when you have Constantine the 13th. And that's where this chart ends. Before that, you have John the 13th. So, you have kind of Antichrist characters in numerology, and you have the globalist idea in Rome. And what do you see on this picture here? You see the, the pyramid symbol. You see the symbols of Japan, you know, how they, they use the specific Asian, the Eastern um, lodges, how they use that light. You see the sacrifice through fire. You see the symbols, the Asian symbols being, you know, the Asian twist of the, the pyramid, of the sun behind it, the rising sun. So these are the Sun Temple, they're trying to battle evil, they're trying to stick up for the good guys and trying to bring a balance in the world. And It's the same idea that the, the Roman Masons and the English Masons practice. Remember Charlemagne and all that, you had the, the Holy Roman Empire versus the Roman Empire, then the Eastern Empire, and how the, the Constantines at first were in the Western Empire, and then you see them in the Eastern Empire, you know, in about um, 641. So you get, you know, well, in 578 you get Tiberius II, who was also known as Constantine. And this is also symbolic, and it also has a lot to do with, you know, Cleopatra, and how you have the Macedonian dynasty in um, Rome, and how um, her affair with Julius Caesar, and how he was killed over the statues in Rome that were Egyptian gods. And, and it, it has to do with, you know, it's similar to why they killed Nefertiti is, is the cult who really controls the government who is in bed with the bankers and are in charge of the banking system as well they make sure things go their way so you know a lot of the names I got from RomanEmperors.org is I always um, give it uh, I always give credit to where credit is due Let's see. now so I say um, the Tibetans have suffered enough. I see a lot of persecution all over the world. I had to touch on the free Tibet and the Dalai Lama and how it ties into Hinduism and Buddhism and Taoism and the different factions and how it ties into Kung Fu and the occult symbolisms of Egypt and how this is very obvious that the Asians are practicing the war arts of ancient Egypt and they applied it through hand-to-hand -hand combat versus the Europeans who applied it more through broadswords and and more through you know they had different fighting arts during the time different fighting methods everyone had their way to fighting and it all goes back to the ancient war temples of Egypt thank you